Hey guys, welcome back to another skill caps tier list. Today we're going to be ranking classes based on how strong their control is in arena. If you saw our support class tier list, you might remember that we didn't include crowd control in our ranking system, but that is exactly what today's video is about. So if you're a player that likes to endlessly control your opponents, this tier list is for you. Just like in our last video, we need to establish some criteria on how to rank the strength of crowd control. By far, the most important factor in ranking crowd control is if the CC is spammable. Having spammable CC is an enormously powerful tool in Arena. Being able to control your opponents at any moment in the game has tremendous offensive and defensive implications and gives you the option to set up kills and deny enemy attacks at virtually any time. The next important consideration is how many diminishing return categories the class has access to. If a class has multiple DRs like having an incapacitate, disorient, and stun, then it is probably a strong CC class. These three DR categories are the most relevant to Arena, so classes having two or three of these will rank high. On top of that, we need to consider the duration of CC effects. The longest a crowd control can last in Arena is 8 seconds, and some CC spells last for as little as 1 second. So having multiple long duration CCs will be important in these rankings. Finally, we will be including a spell's uniqueness into our rankings. Some control options are pretty unique. Most classes have a stun for instance, but not every class has a knockback or disarm. So having unique CC options is definitely a strength in Arena. With that in mind, let's go over the weakest CC classes in the game, starting with the C tier. Leading off this tier are Paladins, who have some of the fewest CC options in the game. Although Paladins have Repentance and Blinding Light on top of their iconic Hammer of Justice as part of their win condition, it just isn't enough to push them out of the C tier. Hammer of Justice is probably their most important CC spell, being used in many of their kill setups as both Holy and Red. But its limited range, long base cooldown, and its ability to be countered by Grounding Totem and Spell Reflection makes it comparatively weaker than some of the other stunts in the game. Next on the C tier are Demon Hunters, who have a few limited instant CC spells. The majority of Demon Hunter control comes from their multiple instant cast stuns. Having multiple stuns can cause problems with diminishing return overlap, but having more than one stun option gives you additional flexibility in Arena for stunning multiple targets. On top of that, Demon Hunters have a unique CC option with Imprison, specifically with the Detainment PvP talent, which essentially gives them access to an instant cast Cyclone. This allows them to negate incoming heals on detained players, which buys them time for stun DRs to reset on their kill target. Starting off the B tier are Death Knights, who have some limited CC options but make up for it with one of the best snares in the game and two unique abilities. The bulk of Death Knight control actually comes from its snares. Chains of Ice is an incredibly punishing ability when used on other melee DPS. It is often used to kite and peel enemy melee in between setups, and as a 70% slow, it is arguably the strongest snare in the game. On top of that, DKs have a really powerful win condition involving their AoE CC, Blinding Sleep. This is usually paired with their Death Grip, another unique CC option that can be used as a damage setup to peel or to interrupt casts. And finally, both of these spells combo into Frostworm's Fury, which AoE stuns targets with the Absolute Zero Legendary. And although it is not as reliable, we should also mention Dark Simulacrum which can be used to steal crowd control spells from enemy casters. Next on the B tier are Monks who have multiple instant CC effects on top of having one of the most unique spells in the game. The two most iconic spells for Monks on this list are Leg Sweep and Paralysis. Leg Sweep is an essential part of the win condition for Windwalker Monk teams who use it to set up kills in comps like DK Windwalker and Monk Mage. Paralysis is also an important asset to this class, especially for getting instant CC on healers or quickly stopping spell casts. On top of this, Monks have a spammable snare and are one of the few classes with a disarm effect, allowing them additional defensive options against melee teams. And finally, Monks have one of the most unique spells in the game with Ring of Peace, which has multiple uses in Arena. It is primarily used as a zoning tool, preventing enemies from crossing certain parts of the map, but it can also be used to interrupt casts, knock players off Z-axis on some maps, and even knock enemy players out of AoE spells like Power Word Barrier. Warriors are the third class on the B tier, and just like many of the melee mentioned on this list so far, are primarily disruptive through their stuns and AoE CCs. Stormbolt is arguably the best stun in the game. If it wasn't for its shorter duration compared to other stuns, it would easily be the best. It is a ranged stun that cannot be dodged, which gives it flexibility to reliably CC kill targets or off targets during setups. Intimidating Shout gives them a flexible AoE CC, offering both offensive and defensive support for their team. When combined with spammable slow, an AoE snare, and a disarm, warriors represent an anti-melee class, having strong control options against most melee specs. And finally, rounding out the B tier are Hunters. The Hunter Control Toolkit is centered around two things, crowd controlling healers and limiting mobility of enemy players. 
The standard CC setup from Hunters is to intimidation stun healers into a full duration trap. This is an easily executable CC setup and has very few counterplay options outside of things like Grounding Totem, Shadow Word Death, or Greater Fade. This relatively accessible CC option gives them really consistent setups and a very streamlined win condition. The remainder of their CC strengths come in the form of rooting and snaring enemy players. Their Binding Shot, Steel Trap, and Tar Trap spells are incredibly disruptive to enemy melee, and if that wasn't enough, they have one of the best knockbacks in the game with High Explosive Trap. They are also one of the few classes in the game with a silence effect. Spider Sting, although dispellable by some classes, is the only other common silence in the game outside of the Shadow Priest ability called Silence and the Assassination Rogue Garrote. Before we reveal the high tier control classes in PvP, we wanted to tell you about our incredible website skillcaps.com slash wow. Skillcapped has been producing the highest quality instructional content for WoW PvP for over a decade. We consult with some of the best players in the world to bring you up-to-date guides, including class-specific courses and matchup tutorials to make sure you always stay ahead of the game. Our courses are designed to help you no matter what your skill level, so if you're just starting out or if you want to push Gladiator and beyond, we have videos for you. Joining our website will give you instant access to all of our videos, as well as an invite to our premium Discord where you can directly interact with the pros. If you want to take your gameplay to the next level, check out skillcaps.com slash wow today. Now we're getting into the classes that truly have the best control options in PvP, starting with Shamans. By far, the most unique control option available to Shamans is Hex, the only incapacitate effect that is a curse debuff. This is incredibly strong in PvP, as only a few classes are capable of removing curses, making it uncounterable into a comp like Red Warrior Priest and other meta comps that lack curse dispels. Now with the Voodoo Mastery PvP talent, Resto Shamans can reduce the cooldown of Hex to zero, allowing it to be spammed in Arena. On top of that, Resto Shamans arguably have the best snare and root in the game with Earth Grab Totem, which can be placed anywhere within 35 yards. And even though Enhance and Elemental lack this talent, they still have Earthbind Totem, which is a really useful snare in every arena matchup. Not only does it limit mobility, but it can also be used to stop healers from drinking even when they are out of line of sight. Elemental Shamans also have a really unique stun option with Lightning Lasso, which can be channeled while moving and even out of line of sight of its target while doing huge damage. And even outside of Lightning Lasso, the AoE stun from Capacitor Totem is always threatening, especially when it can be comboed into a Hex. And how could we forget the most iconic Elemental Shaman spell of them all, Thunderstorm. Elemental Shamans are one of the few specs in the game with a knockback, which has enormous value on maps with a Z-axis. All in all, the unique control option of having a curse base incapacitate combined with the movement impairing options makes Shamans an incredibly powerful control class in PvP. And finally, topping off the A tier are Priests, who have some of the most unique control options in a game. By far, the most iconic Priest CC is Psychic Scream, which plays a huge part in extending CC in setup-based comps. Priests also have Mind Control, which has some unique outplay potential for throwing opponents off Z-axis maps, negating enemy cooldowns, and even countering ground-based CC like Freezing Trap and Ring of Frost from enemy players. Despite being spammable, Mind Control does CC the Priest during its channel, so it isn't as strong as other spammable CC spells. Shadow Priests have a truly unique control option with Silence, which is one of the few blanket silence effects you will encounter in PvP. This spell has lots of flexibility and is either used in setups alongside Psychic Horror, Ice Cross CC, or as an interrupt against incoming casts. The ability for Shadow Priests to instantly cross CC by themselves is huge, as only a handful of specs are able to control multiple opponents in a single global. And of course, we cannot ignore Holy Priests, which are the masters of control in Arena. With an instant cast range stun or incapacitate that can be reset with Apotheosis, Holy Priest offers some additional team control over its disciplined counterpart. Again, these instant cast range CC options give Holy Priests a valuable spot in setup-based comps, allowing them to cross CC with their team. Now it's time to get into the true masters of control in Arena, starting with the only S tier melee on this list, Rogue. It should go without saying that Rogues are based around control, having three separate DR categories to chain together and cross CC with their team. Their stuns are the backbone of comps like RMP, who set up kill attempts based on stun DRs and the cooldown of Kidney Shot. With the ability to lock down multiple targets during a Shadow Dance, they allow their team the ability to free cast damage and control, opening up entire win conditions by themselves. And with some rogues even now playing deeper stratagem, their kidney shots can last up to 7 seconds, the longest stun in the game. And now with Shadowy Duel as their optimal PvP talent, rogues have a unique CC option unlike any other in the game. Although not a conventional CC spell, Shadowy Duel indirectly acts as a crowd control that cannot be trinketed. 
Combined with Smoke Bomb, these two abilities have very limited counterplay in Arena, and both are truly unique parts of the Rogue CC toolkit. Representing the highest hybrid on our tier list are Druids, who have a wide range of CC options depending on their spec. The most powerful spell available to every Druid spec is Cyclone. This ability is arguably the best crowd control in the game and has one of the highest skill caps. As a spammable CC that can open up win conditions or deny kills from the enemy team, its only drawback is its range, which is fairly limited if not balanced or using balance affinity. And speaking of balanced Druids, Boomkins have access to one of the best instant CC options in the game with Mass Entanglement and Solar Beam, which is a really easy combo to pull off and opens up an easy win condition every minute. Also unique to balanced Druids and Balance Affinity is Typhoon. Although not as strong as other knockbacks in the game, it is worth mentioning due to how uncommon these effects are. If that wasn't enough, Balanced Druids are the only spellcasters in the game with a disarm, and although it can be dispelled, it is really good for countering melee DPS. Feral Druids not only have Cyclone, but also multiple baseline stun effects which play a huge role in comps like Jungle Cleave for cross CCing the enemy team. And if all of this wasn't enough, most Druids play Guardian Affinity, giving them Incapacitating Roar, which can be used to disrupt kill attempts and also as a CC chain starter when combined with Cyclone. And with Ursul's Vortex as baseline for Resto, Druids have an additional way to deny mobility. This spell is especially punishing against Warriors for countering their Heroic Leap and Charge. Warlocks are the next class on the S tier, and with some buffs in 9.0.5, they could rise in popularity due in part to their amazing control. Obviously, we can't mention Warlock control without mentioning Fear, which continues to be one of the best spammable CC spells in the game. Fear gains some additional strength as Affliction, where Unstable Affliction gives Warlocks some dispel coverage on top of their CC. And speaking of Affliction, Warlocks have some of the best lows in the game, with the Affliction Legendary Sacrolash's Dark Strike granting a ranged spammable snare that is part of their standard DPS rotation. Destruction has Curse of Exhaustion as a baseline slow, and both are some of the few instant cast ranged snares in the game. Every Warlock spec has Shadow Fury as a baseline stun, with access to Mortal Coil as talents. Mortal Coil is especially useful for Destro Warlocks, who use it as a combo starter with Havoc in order to coil two targets in order to free cast. Destruction also has a really unique CC option with their Summon Infernal ability, which stuns all targets it hits but is not on the standard stun DR. And for countering enemy casters, Warlocks also have Curse of Tongues as baseline, which can be increased with the recently buffed Amplify Curse PvP talent. All in all, these options give Warlock tremendous control in Arena. Once again, we will probably see more Warlocks in 9.0.5, so be prepared to face these demons of control. And finally, if you haven't guessed it by now, the final S tier on this list and the contender for best control in the game are Mages. Of course, Mages have snares and roots, but the ability that elevates them to the top of the control list is Polymorph. You might be thinking, why is Polymorph so strong? Doesn't it remove damage over times and heal the opponents to full? Well, yes, but it is a bit more complicated than that. Polymorph is the ultimate control spell because it has so much offensive and defensive potential. Obviously, it can be used together with other spells to chain CC on enemy healers for kills or to cross CC enemy DPS on setups, but its primary strength might actually be its defensive use. Polymorph is like a pause button in Arena. It can be used to delay or entirely shut down enemy kill attempts. And for this reason, even though few mages would actually admit it, Polymorph is the ultimate dampening spell. Its ability to stall and draw out games is perfect for a comp like Rogue Mage, where win conditions happen around stun DRs. So in between DRs, mages can stall out the game and stop damage on their team by polymorphing enemy DPS. And once the win condition is ready, the polymorph can be shifted to the enemy healer. And being on the arcane spell school, polymorph can be casted independent of lockouts on frost and fire. And even if polymorph is interrupted, ring of frost can be used as additional coverage against teams with multiple lockouts. Fire mages even have the ability to set up CC chains by themselves with the power of dragon's breath into polymorph or ring of frost on the enemy team. Once again, when you combine all of this with the snares and novas that mages offer, you have the foundation for arguably the best CC class in the entire game. And there you have it, our rankings of the best CC classes in the game. Control is at the core of many comps in Arena, especially those that like to push the game into dampening. The foundation of many setup-based comps is the ability to use multiple control spells across the entire Arena team, opening up 3v1 situations to secure kills. Let us know what you think which class has the strongest CC and WoW. And if you found this video useful, make sure to give us a like. To stay on top of future uploads, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. That way, you will never miss an upload.